A revitalization project to save the yellow spotted river turtles at Sand Creek Village, Region 9, Upper Takatu, Upper Essequibo, will see thousands of these reptiles sustained there. Program coordinator Neil Miller on Wednesday said the project is a solution to the significant decline of the turtle population there. Earlier this year, some 1,100 turtles were safely hatched. In the next few years, we hope to continue the project and um, find a solution where we don't have to rescue the eggs last minute, but we could find um, a way to, to rescue them early or to move them to a different part of the river or to move them back to the village early if we know that they're going to flow. So this year we had um, 1,600 eggs to be rescued. From the 1,600, only about um, 1,100 successfully passed and survived. It is the group's hope that the project will eventually rebuild the population of yellow-spotted river turtles in the Rupununi. Miller said the turtles will be released in September for the second turtle festival in Rupununi. The decline is reportedly due to the overconsumption of the turtles by persons and predators. So at that time, um, Sand Creek Village reached out to us as our guests and asked us if we could help them to implement a conservation program to help reverse the decline of the, the yellow spotted river turtle. And we've also been protecting them from predators as well, because it's not only human being found, but you also have um, a species of lizard called a phallopanther here locally. Um, and they would frequently go to the nest and um, consume as many eggs as possible. Around Christmas time, the turtles are cooked in different ways and consumed by persons in the area. Their meat and eggs are a delicacy for persons. This constant hunt has caused the number of turtles to decrease. But to ensure the project was a success, local rangers monitored the beach and persons were informed about the project. At the start of the project, the rangers didn't consider flooding, but this soon became a major issue because the nests had to be moved to higher ground for the eggs to stay safe. However, the rangers worked swiftly and the baby turtles were able to hatch safely. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Lazina Yearwood.